Hey, welcome back. It's Laure, and today we are asking ourselves why electrons don't crash into the nuclei of the atom. The solution involves quantum mechanics and even a radioactive decay phenomenon called electron capture. But let's start at the beginning. Physicists were troubled by the motion of electrons around the atoms. They computed the electromagnetic forces of the system, and since the electrons are orbiting around the atom, they experience an acceleration and should lose energy. Eventually, the electrons should then collapse into the nucleus, except that we do not observe this in real life. As a solution, Bohr invented the Bohr model as an early way to solve this issue. He invented the idea of orbits and claimed that electrons could only be on the orbits and would not lose energy while in orbit. It explains the lines experimentally observed in the spectra of excited atoms, but the Bohr model is wrong too. The solution to this issue is to completely abandon the idea of orbits and trajectories, and instead we treat electrons using quantum mechanics, and the solution can be derived using mathematics. The essential part of the calculation is that we have the De Broglie relation, P equals H over lambda, where P is a momentum, H is Planck's constant, and lambda is a wavelength of the electron. In plain English, the momentum is directly related to the amount of energy and the velocity of the electron when it is treated as a particle. The Planck's constant is always equal to about 6 times 10 to the power of minus 34 joules per second. The wavelength lambda describes the length of the wave of the electron when it is treated as a wave. The De Broglie relation gives us a relation between the two forms of matter in quantum physics, matter and energy. The electrons we consider are stuck in a volume delimited by the atom. This limits the size of the waveform it can take to a maximum size. And the De Broglie relation says that the momentum is inversely proportional to the wavelength. So since we have a maximum value of the wavelength, we gi it gives us a minimum value of the momentum or of the energy. And the electron cannot access a state of lower energy than predicted by the De Broglie relation, so it cannot collapse onto the nucleus. Now let's look at visual representations of the electrons. We treat electrons as waves using spherical harmonics to predict the behavior of electrons. The accepted models of electron orbital structures uses the spherical harmonics tweaked with the Schrodinger equation. And this is how the electron orbital structures look like. Now we can only solve the Schrodinger equation with exactitude for hydrogen, giving us these beautiful probability density plots. The lighter the color, the higher the probability that the electron can be observed there. As you can see, the middle of each figure is black, because the probability that the electron is in the atom is almost zero, except for s orbitals. In the specific cases, such as for s orbitals, where there is a probability density that the electron can be found at the center, we can observe a phenomenon called electron capture, where the electron binds with a proton to turn it into a neutron. Electron capture is a form of radioactive decay that transforms atoms. So if you learn something, please give this video a like. And if you would like to know more, I made a video on the ways in which atoms decays. You just have to click right here.